Hi, I'm Stefano from Suono Buono, and this is going to be a very technical video. So if you're a modular synth geek, I think this is going to be good for you. I'm going to compare the VCAs and envelopes on a Roland modular synth with the Suono Buono NABC. The NABC is VCI based, so many people have asked me how do the envelopes compare to a modular synth. So I thought let's do some measurements and, uh, and let's get to the facts. This setup may look a little bit intimidating, but it's actually very simple. There is a periodic gate signal generated by the Korg, which is input both to the Roland and to the NABC. The envelopes in both the Roland and the NABC are set up to be the shortest possible, so zero time attack and zero release. Both the NABC and the Roland are fed up with a pure 1 kHz 0 dBU sine wave as a signal. And this is what we see right now in the oscilloscope. The yellow trace is the output of the VCA in the Roland, while the purple one is the line output from the Suonobono and ABC. When I connect the envelope generator in the Roland to the VCA, we start to see an effect similar to typical ducking sidechain compression. When I remove the bypass on the NABC, we start to see the same also on the purple. So let's speed up this and let's look into detail what happens. So let's start by checking the attack times. When we zoom in now, every square is about one millisecond. We can see that both the Roland and the NABC in purple are able to sweep 30 dB in something like only 2 milliseconds. So this is quite impressive um, envelope time. And if we look at the release times, those are slightly longer. In that case, one could say that 30 dB are spanned in maybe something like 8 milliseconds or so. Something interesting to look at, however, is that uh, while the signal on the NABC is perfectly symmetrical, centered around the zero, this is not the same for the Roland. You see this kind of skewed shape. To better understand why the Roland has this different shape compared to the NABC, we can remove the input sinusoid. So what we see now is only noise and I will increase the scale so we can see it better. So on the yellow, this is what is typically called thumping noise for the Roland and the same in purple for the NABC. And you see for the Roland, it's several times bigger. Now this is a property of how analog VCAs are developed. So it's a characteristic of the design and the specific ICs that are used in one or the other design. The question is, is this type of thumping noise problematic? So we'll first play only the noise from the NABC amplified by 20 dB. And now I play the same from the Roland also amplified by 20 dB. And as you hear, the difference is quite significant. We also took some other measurements and we found out that for a zero dBU, one kilohertz sine wave, uh, the VCA on the Roland gives a total harmonic distortion plus noise around 0.4% compared to 0.03% on the NABC. We also compared the dynamic ranges and we found uh, quite larger values for the NABC compared to Roland. Overall, I'm really happy with this comparison because I really, really love the Roland. It's a fantastic synthesizer. This is my own unit and it's very musical. So I was happy to see that the NABC's envelopes are as fast as the ones on the Roland, but I was even more happy to see that the thumping noise is much lower on the NABC as well as distortion is also improved and the dynamic range is larger. 
Thank you for watching.